What is good guys, we're here with ABR versus Sabella for Snow and Snake Draft Semifinals. Let's talk about the teams real quick. So I'm assuming, I assume that the Assault West, Megina, uh, Choice Scarf, Vladi with healing with support into like Mega Mobile, Defensive Lander with rocks, um, either Z-Move Zygarde or Z-Move Greninja, not sure about that yet. And yeah, let's talk a bit about Sabella's team looking like a black and white team. Probably Choice Bennett Tarantar. I'm thinking Scarf Kaleo and then a uh, potential Mega Chomp, but it could also be Scarf Chomp. No, I'm thinking it's Mega Chomp. So, but they have a Moongus to check um, Greninja. But like Spore, HP5, Giga Drain, Sludge Bomb, something like that. And then, yeah, I could see like Spikes on Skarmory and Rocks on Tran. And Skarmory might have Whirlwind, yeah. And not sure about the Heatran set yet. It could be Z move. So yeah, this is um, ABR Lisa with gear. I think ABR is gonna vo Volt Switch here, predict in the Among Us or the Heatran. Because in case the Megina has Fleur Cannon, that also hits the Kaleo. So I don't think Sabella is gonna risk his Guard Trump here. So he's either gonna go like, exactly, exactly, exactly. I don't know why like spoke so weird, talks so weird there. But yeah, Volt Switch was fine there in my opinion. Because I don't think Sabella was gonna risk uh, going Chomper on the potential Fleur Cannon. So now ABI gets in either his Mawile or his um, Zygarde. If he's a sub Zygarde, he could have gotten that in. Um, so Isabella is either gonna Spore here or switch in the Heatran. Um, so usually I see on Mawile SD3 attacks or 4 attacks, uh, like something like Fire Thing, Thunder Punch, Slash Knock Off, and then SD. Um, actually, that's that's the 4 attack set. The 4 attack set is like Thunder Punch, Slash Knock Off, but like Fire Thing, Slash Thunder Thing, Slash Knock Off, Three out of, two out of those three, and then like Player of and Sucker Punch. But yeah, sometimes there's SD as well. Um, let's see, if I have ABR here, um, I don't know his set, but I would probably like, go for a knockoff because it hits Heatran and Among Us decently well. Oh, okay, okay, he does have Substitute, I obviously didn't know that. I'd, I have not seen that set in tour play especially. So this is Fire for ABR, he can go for Fire Thing on knockoff now. Um, yeah, I would still prefer knock off because in case Sabella goes Heatran but Sabella does stay in 5 and does a lot um, obviously confirming that it's most likely a Spadef Among Us um, so that worked out really nicely for ABR um, so he's now ABR can now um, expect the Skarmory or the Heatran to come out so he can either go for Thunder, Thunder Punch or knock off or he can pull a double into Greninja um, Greninja covers the Skarmory and the Heatran so that's a fire play um, Sabella is definitely not going to stay in, he wants to get some regen, his Among Us is now at 64-ish, something like that. So he makes the double into um, Greninja. Sabella is now forced to go into Kaleo, I'm pretty sure. Um, so ABI can get up a spike, break the Kaleo. Or I can just um, go for like Hydro Pump to weaken the Kaleo a bit. Let's see if he's probably not Ash as well. Um, there is the Kaleo, we do see a Z move Greninja, it is a Hydro Vortex. And I do understand that play because in case he don't stay then you don't risk missing, you get really nice chip damage on the Kaleo and he was never going Among Us there. I'm pretty sure Hydro Vortex into Ice Beam probably would have killed the Among Us. Yeah. So uh, he gets nice chip damage off. ABR can now switch into either Gear or Ladi. The thing is Sabella can double into um, Tyranitar predicting the Ladi. Um, he does double into Tyranitar, let's see if ABR predicted that. ABR just goes for Spike. The thing is, ABR was water type, so I don't think Secret Sword from Kaldi would have O-coded his Greninja. So it's understandable that he stayed in. Um, it would have given him information if Kaldi is Scarf or not, and it would have given him, yeah, like would have would have uh, helped him to see what Sabella locks him K in hits himself into if he is Scarf. But yeah, um, I'm pretty sure um, Tyranitar doesn't die to Hydro Pump, so ABR, unless he has Low Kick, which he probably doesn't have, He's gonna switch into his either Landorus or Magiana here. Uh, he wants to keep Mag Magiana healthy, obviously. Um, for Keldeo. Because like if the Ladi gets pursued, gear is his other good check for um, for Keldeo. Um, so I assume we're gonna see a Landorus come out. Savala can go for a Stone Edge here. Or, yeah, I assume Stone Edge. He could also Crunch, but Crunch doesn't hit the gear and the Lando that hard. So I assume he's gonna Stone Edge. He doesn't just do that, he connects, it does a lot to the Lando. So I'm thinking this Lando has some speed investment, because I think defensive Lando takes it a bit better. You see it's a lefty variant. Um, so the Skarmory is really obvious here, so I assume maybe is either going to U-turn or double, expecting the Skarmory. So he goes in the Mawile and he gets the Skarmory. So that tells us he probably has Thunder Punch and he can go for Thunder Punch here. Because he doubled into Mawile expecting the Skarmory, otherwise this play doesn't make any sense, he has to have Thunder Punch. And yep. 
He does have Thunder Punch, it does a lot to the Heatran, and the Heatran does not have leftovers. So it's not confirmed yet that if the Kelly was the Scarfer, so the Heatran could technically also be the Scarfer. Uh, Aelia is gonna switch here into Greninja or Zygarde. So Bella can either get up with Rocks or if he's an offensive trend. I mean, it could also be a Z-move trend. Yeah, Z-move trend is an option. Yeah, he could just go for Inferno Overdrive, yes, he has it, he could get up with his Rocks. Um, let's see. So he goes for Fire Blast, that makes me think that he's a Scarf, Heatran. Um, yeah, so ABR is probably just gonna go for Hydro Pump here. Um, he has a spike up, so I think Hydro Pump into Ice Beam. Or, like, even without the spike, I think that would um, still be enough to trade KO on Mungus. He does dodge a Fire Blast, and we get confirmed. Th that confirms us that the Heatran was scarfed. That is unfortunate because that would have put the Greninja in range from to die from rocks if Sabella gets up rocks. Um, actually, Sabella is never gonna get up rocks, I think, because I think the Rocker was the Heatran and the Rocker just died. So he goes in the Kelly here. And yeah, knowing that the Greninja most likely cannot kill the Kelly, I'm thinking that the Z-move Kelly at this point because the Heatran was Scarf. Um, so, uh, so ABR is probably going to go into uh, gear here because Sabella already doubled into um, Tita earlier. So I don't think Sabella is going to double into Tita again. Um, like the reason why I, why I say Tita kind of covers Megina because some Megina don't carry Floricon on Assault Vest. They carry sometimes Ice Beam, uh, Volt Switch, Iron Head and HP Fire. Which, uh, like, uh, ABS team uh, is a bit annoyed by Scissor, so he could definitely be HP Fire on this gear. So he just makes, like, gear was overall the safest player, yeah, no matter what Sabella does. Um, yeah, I didn't think Sabella would have doubled again, like, especially since ABS stayed in earlier. So yeah, this is, um, either a Volt Switch or Ice Beam. The thing is, if he Volt Switch here, if he Volt Switches here and Sab Sabella goes into Among Us, Greninja comes back and Greninja kinda gets a kill. Um, that is a high roll from Kelly. That's definitely not specs. It's a high roll from neutral damage. So it's either double scarf or Z move Kelly. Like it's either scarf, trend plus scarf Kelly or Z move. I'm thinking Z move Kelly. <coughs> so he gets the voltage off on the Mongoose. So he gets his Greninja in here. Uh, Zagat would also be a potential play. But the Zagat doesn't guarantee a kill because I think the Zagat. Um, like he would go for Thousand Arrows if he would go into Zygarde and I'm pretty sure Garchomp can live that and then Garchomp can threaten out the Zygarde but I don't think it matters too much, uh, ABR is in a really good position um, Greninja and Zygarde I think are both fine Greninja probably is a bit harder for Sabella to switch into so I assume he's gonna go Greninja and click Ice Beam as Among Us should die even after Black Sludge Recovery because it's still a protein Greninja, it gets a stab boost even though it's not life up, we have seen it with a theme of Greninja Um, so and if Sabella switches into Lactita, then he would die to the combo of Ice Beam and Hydro Pump after Spike, I'm pretty sure. Um, so Sabella can, like, I guess hope for a Mineral. I think he just... Huh. He doesn't have good switch since Kelly would um, probably get 2 hit KO'd after Spikes. If it doesn't get 2 hit KO'd by Ice Beam, then it would get KO'd by Ice Beam into Hydro Pump. Uh, Garchom obviously dies to pump. Uh, Scum is bad spidef, so it can't switch in. So yeah, he didn't have a good switch in, uh, so he just sacks the Among Us. And... He's either gonna... I don't know if Kelty dies after a spike to pump. So I guess he's gonna go like Tita and hope for a dodge if Kelty will die after a spike. Like, spidef Scum? I have never seen spidef Scum this gen, so I don't think he's gonna be dead. He goes Kelty. Um, yeah. Yeah, Kelty can, I think, live a pump. Yeah, it's not life up, Kelly can live a pump. Um, so Kelly can like go for... Hmm. If it has Z-move, yeah, I would go for Z-move with Kelly, maybe. That's the lot, he does the secret sword. Um, so he's gonna now go into Skamri or Tyranitar. If you ABR here, you don't have to double at this point. You can double play in Tita or Skamri, but ABR is like so far ahead, I don't think it matters. So he's probably just gonna fire over Drago here, um, get some chip on the Tita or the Skarm. Um, Sabella still wants to keep this around, even though, okay, he, j he just sacks it, okay. Yeah, okay, that, that's understandable. Uh, he he kind of had to tr wanted to try to catch the, uh, ABR on a double or something. And I don't think, the Tita wouldn't have gotten to it because he dodges there, doesn't play a role. Like, the game is pretty much over at this point. Um, yeah, like even if he kept the Kelly after the spike, the Kelly would have been in range from Greninja, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, it doesn't really check the Grin anymore. Uh, if the Molar has Sucker Punch, I think that also kills after spikes. Um, so now he's probably gonna go into Mawile here. Uh, yeah, you can go into Mawile here because the Tita is locked into Pursuit. He has a few options, Mawile works, Zygarde works. So he goes Mawile. Um, yeah, you can click Substitute or Thunder Punch here. 
The reason why you want to click substitute is because then you don't have to predict at all. You see what he brings out and you can just attack what's in front of you. And even if he pivots, you still have a sub and you can you still get a hit off on what's in front of you because uh, Sabella has to break the sub first. So now he's going to thunder punch. Um, I assume Sabella is going to go for a whirlwind or something. Okay, he switches into Cheetah, okay. Uh, I don't know. So let's see if this uh, Thunder Punch does tweet KO, but Tita is probably faster, has Bandit Earthquake, breaks the sub, another Thunder Punch is gonna kill, or oh, Iron Head, okay. Uh, wow, I have never seen Iron Head more well, or at least not very often. So the Guard Jump um, has one ton of sand left. Um, uh, I assume he's gonna click Fire Blast or Earthquake here. Fire Blast would also hit the Lando. At this point, it doesn't matter, ABR has this game locked. Uh, I don't see how ABR can lose. I guess you can just stay in with Marvel and click Iron Hatch in case this is a sub guard jump to not like just to not give Sabella any opening. You can just stay in and click Iron Hatch and it will ensure he doesn't get a sub up and then you can revenge him with Greninja and Greninja pretty much wins. Um, yeah, the game's over. So I don't remember what the score is uh, at the moment in the series, semi final series. Um, I record a lot of other games, I still have to renovate some of the other games. Uh, I also missed a few. Yeah, my man Ultra was helping me with these games, and yeah, let's see, let's see. Uh, I haven't been uploading too much lately, and I want to bring you guys more content. Um, yeah, so he just sex it, ensures that the Garchomp doesn't get a sub up, like I said, clicks Ice Beam, and the game is pretty much over. Um, Skarmory might be able to live too, since it's not life or boosted. Okay, that only does 36. Maybe the Skarmory does have some sort of spadef investment. Um, but yeah, the game is over, I don't think it matters what he does here. What's Skarmory even gonna do? Roost or get up a hazard? He has Taunt to prevent the Roost or Hazards. Okay, that's a cool tech. And yeah, he can just like spam Ice Beam here. And the game ends. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more content. He has Counter, okay. So probably Counter, Whirlwind, Roost, Spikes. I don't know, something like that. Maybe Brave Bird? No, I don't think he has Brave Bird. Mm. No, he, I don't think he has Tren and Among Us to check Bulu. I don't think he's gonna have... um. Brave bird. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more snake. More ulties coming. Um yeah, I have a, like a lot of the ulti series live recorded. But I just one of them I recorded with my friends and they were way too wild. I'm gonna re-narrate that so it's just me. And so we're gonna have a good better narration because like some of my friends are really good, but they just talk at the same time, so it's annoying. And I know some of you guys don't enjoy that that much when they talk over each other. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Have a fantastic day. Stay tuned for more content. Peace out, friends. Smash the like button. Goodbye. If you, if you want to see more, like I'm going to put in the work if you smash the like button. Goodbye.